There's a few first things that you want to do when you first purchase a Honda, whether that's going to be suspension, that's going to be wheels, or that's going to be brakes. What we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be replacing the brakes on my 98 EK with the full set from a GSR, and we're going to be refreshing it up the entire rear trailing arm. What we're going to be putting onto the trailing arm is K-Tune and Downstar parts. From the K-Tune parts, it will be the rear trailing arm bushing, it will be the rear toe arm, and the rear camber kit. From Downstar, we got the full titanium rear trailing arm kit. Also with that titanium hardware, we got it dressed up with some Downstar LCAs. So I'm excited to be able to put these parts on, but I'm going to be breaking up these videos into segments and what we're going to be doing is today we're going to be breaking down the trailing arm and then in the next few videos you'll see the progression of me painting the trailing arms getting the parts installed let's get straight into it guys all right guys so this is the setup that we are doing this is the gsr rear trailing arm and i basically am going to break down the entire trailing arm for you guys in this video and we're going to be freshening up the entire trailing arm with k-tuned everything from the rear trailing arm bushing so we're going to get rid of this nasty slop and this is going to get that nice and done up we're going to be replacing the oem camber kits and the toe arms as well so we both both got that for k-tuned with the hardware you guys already know we're getting it dressed up with the downstar hardware this is the new stuff i'm not mistaken this isn't even on the website so you'll have to dm frank if you guys want to get something like this but it is the full titanium blurple color option for the rear trailing arm so let me show you guys real quick because i already have one painted because i just wanted to make sure that i was gonna do everything proper and i'm trying to talk while do all this so this is basically what i'm trying to aim for at the end i use the basic paint for vht from o'reilly's and the vht clear coat so i did three coats of paint two coats of clear just so it could freshen it up and you guys can already see the difference like there's nothing too crazy with it i could have gotten powder coated but this is cheaper this was probably like 50 dollars worth of paint for to be able to do both trailing arms so this is the goal for today's video is to make this one look like this one i'm gonna put the link down in the description for any of these parts like i said for the rear trailing arm hardware if you want full titanium you're gonna have to hit a prank to be able to get that because it's not even on the website yet the lcas are on there so i'll, I'll link that down below so i just want to make sure you guys are able to get anything that you need from this video easily <laughs>
guys so here is the finished product for now for this video at least we got the trailing arm down to the bare metal to what we need basically this is pretty much going to be how it's going to be until the next video and the next video will be of us painting the trailing arms all right guys so that's going to be a wrap for this video i basically just wanted to cut this up because i'm doing one week video so i just wanted to give it some time because some of the parts i'm basically halfway through my build so i just wanted to make sure that i have enough content for one week probably i'm going to try to see if i'm going to combine painting and getting the trailing arm bushings pressed in all in one video or if i'm going to separate them so then there's only i don't know how many videos i want to do of each so i'm still trying to figure that out for you guys but i hope you guys are enjoying me just breaking it down and just being a quick little video for you guys it's not that hard and you know when you swap the brakes for these cars it's noticeably different like all my other civics that i've ever had i never had rear discs or my last civic was a eg hatch it was an si that had rear discs and when i got in that thing it was so crazy of a difference of you can feel it's like so much more responsive so with me doing the K-Swap, I actually wanted to do that because it's something that's not too crazy expensive. They go for like the full kit for the trailing arms and the spindles usually are probably gonna be anywhere from like four to 500 bucks. But then on top of that, you gotta also include the price of all the parts for like, if you're getting the trailing arm bushings and everything that I got in this video, you gotta take an account for that. So I would probably say if you're expecting to do this swap and you want to refresh and everything up and kind of do the whole breaks System, depending on parts too um, and brands that you go with on the cheap side if you want nothing too crazy it could be anywhere from a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred or it could probably go up to even two to three thousand depending on what kind of brake setup if you wanted to go like with willwood and or brimbo stuff like that i just wanted to make this video because i just want something that's gonna stop that i know that works never had any issues and then take it from there if we need to progress on the brake system because i do plan on turbo in this car and i do plan on wanting around six to seven hundred horsepower to start once it's turboed so you know if i need to upgrade the brakes then then we'll go on with that situation and deal with it when that time comes so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because there's going to be plenty of videos there's going to be weekly videos at least for the next three months i'm trying to crush this stuff out i'm going to be starting to do some side projects that i'm going to be glad to announce with you guys make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you guys hit that thumbs up as well and we'll check you guys in the next video peace Thank you.